I feel like even if we leave, we're going to get kind of caught. I feel like we kind of just plunk down into the sewer and kill the giant snake, and that's not going to go unnoticed. What if he kills us? I have a pretty interesting plan where I'm just going to cast very powerful spells at him many times. How so, many dead people were there? Just a lot? I mean, do dozens. The guards, the prisoners. Okay. Every, every prisoner you could see. Every guard. The good news, all... though, is I think we might have saved that dude's life by sending him to that party. Yeah, that's Actually, sounds... I think that's you're entirely truth, correct. So... No matter what Heroes bad here. things we did, we saved a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Kid cancels Good it out. Thing. Okay, so I would say we should try to sneak in at least to that intersection so yeah. that we can get the drop on him. Because um, if we just go like bumbling in, then he'll have a heads up that a bunch of idiots are going to come try and stab. Well, I'll do a little Scooby Doo peek in the hallway, make sure that's okay. Okay. You guys all kind of creak the door open and sort of like stacked your heads on top of each other shortest to tallest <laughs> you see prisoners dead in their cells on either side of you there's cells that line this hall and there are guards wearing the reds of house navarre if you look at their bodies you'd see like a hole probably about a foot across in diameter just a circular hole in the center of all their bodies yeah, that seems bad can i investigate and make sure that nobody's still alive make a make a quick perception check yeah, you don't see anything. Is Viaro sneaking ahead to kind of... Yeah. Fire it up. Give me a vibe check. Hell yeah. Fucking hell, man. Natty won. <clears throat> Viaro is making his way <laughs> up the hallway. Stupid fucking drunk. You guys are all kind of watching from the door from your vantage point. You can see his face just becoming paler and greener. He steps, and you all hear it as it echoes down the hallway. It's the sound of as his boot just goes into a hole in the uh... center of the guard. You hear a hello, and then you hear a, please, come into the office of Lorenzo Scipio. Let us make haste. The, our cover is blown, and time is of the essence. <laughs> Ready to fucking let some spells fly. Eventually, you see a cell door that's open where the voice was coming. You see this person who says, uh, yes, please come inside. I don't have any chairs at the moment. Bit of a work of progress in here. And there's a, a turtle that he's kind of cradling. And from the turtle comes this shadowy black ribbon that's like somewhat translucent and it's floating in the air. And you see this person who says, just a moment, and he bites his glove, pulls that off, and there's a black ring that he feeds this ribbon into. What the fuck? Just sort of says, well, I was not expecting guests this evening. What are you doing here? We need the turtle, so you're going to have to go ahead and put, kind of put that A1 barbecue sauce back inside. I have no qualms with you taking this turtle. I'm sorry, sir, but it appears that you have been part of quite the dreadful deed here, and I believe we will be forced to hand you off to the authorities. How exactly did you all get in here? How did you get in here? Through the front door. Us too. I was already in here. Well, that doesn't make sense. You came from the other direction. Well, that's got a little lost. He kind of thinks for a second. He goes, you went through the sewers? For real? Never heard of them, personally. The smell, huh. that's just kind of a cologne we're working on as a group. Okay, I'm casting Chaos Bolt. Viaro, you're up first. Alright, I'm gonna see him stretching and I'm gonna like also stretch out a little bit, limber up, and then yep. uh, we'll just walk up to him and throw a right hook. <laughs> <laughs> that does not hit. Flurry of blows. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those hit. Yeah, I'm gonna grind on him. Bolts are immediately pouring from his nose. Body knock. 
I'm gonna catapult a shield saying the magic words. Catapult, catapult, catapult at the shield. <laughs> uh, and he has to make a dexterity saving throw against 13. Okay, I got a 11. Yes! Yeah, do your damage. Alright, 3d8 bludgeoning. Fuck that. Like, hey, I'm I'm not fucking doing this shit anymore, man. I'm rolling my own dice and I'll report them. Lorenzo, under his breath, he goes, "Those of us know our life is no longer our own." Black Iron Pact, and he uh, goes to strike you two times for damage. That's gonna be his turn, Aratris. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to cast Burning Hands as a second level spell. It is spell save thirteen. So Colby, you're gonna have to make a save too. Hey! Nice, bro. He does still take he does half still damage. Take, yeah. yeah, it is four d six damage. Fire it up. So he takes four. Wouldn't it have to be up though? Because if you rolled one, you wouldn't take zero damage, or would you? Oh yeah, it's up. He's right. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. The RL's like, I don't think it was that bad. Fine, uh, <laughs> like, like, uh, it your, was your head, bad, your dude. head is on fire. I'm blasting him, bro. That hits. We're going to assign the six, so he's going to take an additional 1d6 of poison damage. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so you uh, you fire this orb that's sort of like shifting in the air in color, and then it just sort of like the last one it shifts to this green. Yara. I'm just going to keep at it with my fists then. Get him in the choke. Scissor lock him. That's body knock. I'm going to go ahead and toss one of my magic stones at him. And I am going not lethal. Jesus Christ! He hits him in the, in the forehead and he's like holding his head now. There's blood pouring out. Shit! And then he bites down on his mouth and you guys see this flash of acid start to pour out of his no mouth. No way. And he starts to just like... Uh, uh, and collapse <laughs> against the wall. Holy and he shit. just hits the ground. Body knock is going to say, We need him alive <laughs> or we are implicated in this crime. We must keep him alive. There's a few seconds of like guttural noises and burning and then it just all stops and then you're back in this full of dead body prison this graveyard take all his shit the ring will not come off his finger as you attempt to pull it off okay hey, chop, chop his hand or the finger you could chop the finger off you slice his hand off <laughs> <laughs> all right uh how heavy is a turtle it's not going to slow you down too much as a team you guys all kind of grab him and start to make your way into the down, back down the hallway, stepping over bodies. I want to, like, scoop up some of the sewer water mm-hmm. and splash it in the turtle's face. You do that, and eventually he comes to, and he's just like, oh, 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 oh. Are, you the, are you the execution group? We're going to get you back to Eddie. Oh, shit, you work for it. Oh. Hey, can you um, swim pretty good? I can try. You make your way back through the sewer as quickly as you can. You poke your head out of the manhole type thing that you got in here with. There isn't any people here, but you can hear a bit of riot starting. A bell ringing, like a big bell that's like sounding the guard. We need to go. Body knock wants to be thorough to see if there's any sort of surveillance things that might catch us. Make a perception check. Alright, there you go, roll 20. Thanks a lot. There is blood coming from the, like, slot that they normally look down on the streets. You can see, like, Jesus blood. Christ. Fortunately for us, it seems that all surveillance in the region has been, um, mortally terminated. Uh, so we could not have picked a better day to spring our little heist. At this point, Dor is starting to get a little freaked out. Listen, they're, they're gonna come looking for me. What did you do to get arrested? I can't, I can't remember. He appears to be telling the truth, but he also appears to be very, very scared. I, I have a place that I can go and I can lie low and they won't find me, but I, I can't right. be public. I don't want him to think we're just blowing smoke out of our ass. Do you have like yeah. a sign, sign something for me? Do you have ink? Fuck yeah, dude. Ink is my specialty. He takes some parchment from you guys and some ink and he just writes out a quick note to Eddie that just says, this is door. I'm okay. I need to lie low. They're obviously going to be looking for me. And then he just marks it with his turtle paw. He just dips his whole hand in ink and just <laughs> marks it on the bottom. I love it. If they know that you were here, you might want to lie low too. We'll All cut right. back to the, the big map. Let's get to Eddie. So you guys are like over here. You gotta make your way to the urge, which is in that area. Or he's gonna want that ring right away. There are fairies who do short the short trips between uh, the islands and stuff like that. You guys are just gonna hire somebody and, and all kind of pile in. The, uh, the farrier, as he's rowing you guys across, he's, <sighs> yeah, I don't blame you for trying to leave that district. You guys know anything about what happened? No. 
You guys do notice that there is definitely a ripple of the chaos from St. Sandra's Square to here. I think we should maybe get in, get a place in an inn and check out what we've got. They split the money, so you get 175 gold worth of Ritz. I just want to say, whenever you say Ritz, I think of Ritz crackers. You and Bobby Knock grab an inn, study the magic shit, and just like hold out while Viaro and Malice go try to talk to Eddie. Uh, you guys get to Eddie's, and it's closed up. Doors are closed. There's guards outside stopping people from coming in. They tell you, uh, nobody gets in to see Eddie right now. You want, you want me to deliver a message to him? Yeah, I'll hand him the letter. Make sure he knows he owes me one. Yeah, I'll make sure. And I guess, uh, what did I find about this ring? All you guys can determine is that it is cursed. You'll need some way to break the curse in order to likely remove the ring. So I don't know if they're going to get stuff up back going tomorrow. We'll see. Take Friend, there's a cat in that chair. Oh my god. Aminal abuse. Aminal. You can't put that on stream, dog. You just <laughs> sat on a cat. I'm very sorry. Oh no! Oh no, oh no! What? Party kid, we get tried! At least he's alive, though. <laughs> <laughs>